Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, I believe it's 25th, 25th of March. S&P chart here, as you can see, we opened up, went up about a percent and a half, uh, and then we went down about 3%, and now we're right where we closed yesterday, very bullish day yesterday. We talked about it, doji on Monday, both sides were tradable. Um, 23.88 was slightly messy, but a close above that's pretty constructive. So that's nice, uh, a little bit of a respite here. Um, but we're still on the, um, our call is still to sell this. So peak above 25 um, seems to be probably on the cards. So you don't want to get your selling boots on uh, too, too soon. Um, the ideal sell point is right up here in front of 2700. So sometime, somewhere between 2600 and 2700. Um, and then on the downside, if we do start heading below 2386, which is that pivot, you do have to start to get worried. So right here at 2430, you don't really want to do too much unless you're kind of just scalping around, uh, which we don't do. Um, so you want to wait between 2600 and 2700. <clears throat> or you want to make a decision at 2386 see what <clears throat> excuse me see what the news is that that drove it and um see whether it's real or not euro we talked about it yesterday um it's in a real push pull right now so obviously the qe is dollar negative but the month end flows, uh, according to all the bank research, is going to be massive dollar buying. I mean, they're talking something that's so hysterical um, that it's almost hard to believe. Um, so we're cautiously short dollars. Um, we've reduced. We didn't add last night between 50 and 60, which we're regretting now. Um, but this month end thing is going to... It's sort of messing with my head here. So we're trying to be flexible. Um, we're trying to be tactical. Our main theme is short dollars, so we want to be long euros. Uh, but we have our eye on this month end. So month end value date will be Friday. But if the numbers are true, there's a question whether there's month end flows that are going to be all week. Uh, we're talking billions and billions and billions of dollars to be bought. Um, because of month-end rebalancing based on equity uh, changes in the value of global equity markets. I'll go into this another day, but I don't have any real uh, tradable info on this. This is all just market gossip, things that we hear from reliable sources. They're reliable, no doubt, but messing with my head a little bit. We still like short dollars. Um, but we're going to be tactical about this. Cable's holding up nicely. I don't think we're going to uh I don't think we're going to see 114 ever again. No, I take that back. I don't think we're going to see 114 uh, in the next 30 days. And we'll probably see 122 before we see 114. Cable's holding up very very nicely. Dollar Swiss is going to go down. Um we still believe this. Uh, if you want to really risk manage this, you know your stops above 99. Uh, we had two dojis up here. Even though this looks like a marginally bullish bar, it's it's a red candle with a lower daily high, lower daily low. We like uh, being short dollar Swiss, dollar yen. We have no idea. We have quarter end um, rebalancing in, in Tokyo. Uh, I don't know Monday probably or. Yeah, probably Monday. Uh, that is also going to be incredibly wild. GPIF is confirmed that they're switching tons and tons and tons of their reserves into foreign currency, which will lend a bid to this. Uh, this becomes offered. I'm not really even sure what's driving it when it becomes offered. Obviously, the Olympics were postponed. That's not really good for Japan. I don't know what to do with dollar with dollar yen, um, but I do know yesterday was perfect doji. 
so if you have no view and no bias and you just want to trade the technicals this high here uh, 71 is tradable and this low here um, 110.08 is tradable uh, 110.08 seems top side looks obviously much more in play in dollar yen um, but again we're just avoiding it don't really know what's going on euro yen's bid no idea why sterling yen also of course is bid um, this is an interesting technical point here 132 the figure um, and sometimes if you want to just trade things purely technical technically it's actually easier the the mental gymnastics is actually less uh, and it's quite pure right you you have an entry you know where your exits gonna be it's either a monetary exit how much am I willing to lose or it's a technical exit what does the chart tell me and then you have your technical targets this is one of the reasons that technical analysis um, is pervasive in foreign exchange where it's less pervasive in other in other asset classes uh, because the mental gymnastics in foreign exchange is just astoundingly complicated and it's always push and pull and it's two ways and the macro story is is normally incredibly complicated the flow of money is almost impossible to, to fully track um, this is why technical analysis is used a lot in this uh, asset class dollars are a uh, nice little pivot here at 50 if you if you feel like um, taking a flyer, well, it is relatively risk on right now, so dollar czar should benefit on the downside. So czar should benefit, uh, but we're hearing this. There's likely a downgrade uh, on Friday, and if there is, uh, we're going to go through 18 pretty quick. I'd be real careful being long czar. I didn't see the news yet. I'll I'll put, post it on Twitter. But there was obviously news out in Aussie last night. I don't know why this thing popped so so well. But Aussie's bid, and, and of course Aussie yen, which we talked about yesterday, sixty five sixty five. Looks pretty good now. Uh, we didn't make any money off of it just because of the hundred point um, volatility around that level. It was a scratch for us, but this looks um, pretty darn constructive now in like a really annoying, um, overly volatile, volatile way. Kiwi also, buying boots are on. Um, CAD is lagging. Really illiquid these days, CAD. We're not touching it until we get below this. Uh, we're not getting short dollar CAD until we see something clean below 141.50 gold I don't know what to say other than what the fuck wow this is the QE trade um, bang right <coughs> 1520 to 1700 it's 180 bucks now we have three tops at 17 um, this is eventually gonna go and this is a point where you can add gold longs as hysterical as that sounds let's put the monthlies up it's not unheard of. Gold's been to 1929. Um, interesting, that's the high, 1929. Considering we think we're on the cusp of a global depression, that's quite interesting. Um, that we're headed towards 1929. Uh, ZN, same thing. Uh, try and sell high ones. You got the Fed on the bid. You want to fade his stuff because... Um, leveraging your economy uh, when revenues are getting crushed is incredibly dangerous. Eventually, people are going to ask to get more interest, to loan money to America, and the debt to GDP is going to be. I don't even want to talk about that right now, but so we're short. We we we're bears on the bond market, but we want to sell high ones. This isn't like a this isn't a time where you can just like bang the lows you got the Fed on the bid right so let him buy let him stretch it to the top side and then sell what else dollar China not really much going on 
you got the government up here let's call it at 720 so this is a very interesting point 720 and if you wanna be short dollars um, this is also one way to play it so anywhere between 715 and 720 you can sell it um, certainly you can you can buy it down at 685 is not very useful uh, today dollar max let's just pull this chart up because it's just fun to look at I mean motherfucker look at that 1850 to 2550 red day yesterday I don't know when this is gonna turn uh, look at oil the big point in oil now is 2850 uh, this is the big bear bull bear point we'll be watching that closely right now we're in the middle of the range uh, dollar max cannot turn until we I think we get above 30 bucks and uh, we're not trading dollar max so uh, today we're we're looking to sell high ones in fixed income uh, boons as well same story uh, nice red bar yesterday we're short um, from the 71 handle we're willing to sell again today in the high 70s. We're looking for a move back down to maybe 69.50. We do understand that there is quantitative easing going on in Europe. So it's the same thing. This is not going to fall out of bed anymore. This isn't going to do what it did here from 177. But we are fading uh, the Fed and the ECB tactically sell and then buy for profit, then try and resell, then buy for profit. And you're having like a rolling average on this. Anyway, I've, we're out of the 12-minute mark. I seem to be babbling here. Um, as you can see in the currencies, no real strong view. I want to be short dollars, but the market kind of has this long play in it. So we're going to take a breath today a little bit and look for some key level entries. Nothing is close at the moment. So I'll pop something on Twitter if I get some brilliant ideas. It looks like it's going to be a quiet morning at Privateer. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.